Matthew chapter 6, verse 34, Jesus says, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. So the Jesus way is to not worry when we're uncertain about the future. But if you're like me, you know it's not always that simple, especially when you're navigating a super complex situation in your life. A fairly well-known Irish boxer went to an evangelistic crusade. He heard the message, put his faith in Jesus, and was radically changed. In fact, he became a street preacher and would go to the roughest parts of the, the neighborhood and preach the gospel. In fact, one day he was down there and he was getting persecuted. Somebody came out of the audience and actually just punches him in the face. He was stunned, but just slowly turned his head to the other side. And to his surprise, the man actually punches the other side of his face. At that point, the preacher just backs up, rolls up his sleeves, raises his fist, and he says, the good Lord gave me no further instructions. And sometimes I feel like that, especially when it comes to this verse. I need more instruction. I need more detail. But to know fear is the path to having no fear. What do I mean by that? We need to understand how fear works and that will help us navigate it. So I've heard anxiety described as the fear of a fabricated future, meaning that we create a worst case scenario in our minds and that sort of drives the anxiety in our lives. So how do we overcome this? I'll share with you what I do when I'm facing situations like this. First thing is I remember that I don't know the future, but he does. I think that's what Jesus is getting at here in this passage that, you know, tomorrow has a whole set of issues and worries that you may, may or may not know. And ultimately, God does know the future, and that helps me trust him for what's coming. The second thing is I remember that he has taken care of me in the past. So if you jump up a couple of verses, you'll see in verse 26, he says, look at the birds of the air. Look at the flowers of the field. The father takes care of them. How much more will he take care of you? And I can look at times when the worst case scenario did happen in my life, and I can see how God cared for me during that time and even use that uh, circumstance to shape me into the person that he wants me to be, to make me into the person that I am today. And I can trust that he will continue to do that. So remember that you don't know the future, but he does. And remember that he is taking care of you in the past. I hope that helps. God bless you guys, and we will see you next time.